Well, we are two weeks away from the primary elections. Tonight, a group of local leaders is trying to get more people to vote. And WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer was there. The numbers are pretty staggering, Rick. I looked into a total voter turnouts in St. Joseph County, Elkhart County, and Marshall County. Here's what I found. May means it's time for primary elections in Rose Ivory. I've lived in South Bend about 65 years. Wants to learn more about this year's election. I came out to the forum to get an understanding of what's going on out in, here in the area that I live. So did a couple dozen other people in the community. Local leaders from Notre Dame, the NAACP, and IU South Bend wanted to spread the word that your vote counts. Voting is power. The practice is empowering to the individual and potentially valuable to any number of groups, seniors, ethnic organizations, gender, the list goes on. In St. Joseph County, 16,000 people voted in the 2003 primary. That dropped to nearly 12,000 in 2007 and then rose to 18,000 in 2011. In Elkhart County, the 2003 primary saw a decline from just over 8,400 people that number dropping in 2007 and then again in 2011. In Marshall County, 1,000 voters turned out for the 2003 primary, but it fell in 2007 and then again in 2011 down to 871. There's been a disconnect in explaining the reason, the value of voting and what people have sacrificed over the decades in order to gain the vote. Panelists urge people in the community, if you don't know if you're registered, do it again. It won't hurt. They also urge high school seniors, if they're 18, to register right away and to find new creative ways through technology to access the younger generation of voters, who is oftentimes the least represented at the polls, and their elders, like Ivory, who just want to see change in their neighborhoods. We get promises and promises and then nothing's done. Numbers alone show that typically more people show up to vote in the general election more than the primary election. So we crunched some numbers. Here's what we found. In St. Joseph County in 2003, nearly 26,000 people voted in that election. That number gaining up to 31,000 in 2007, and then again in 2011, dropping to 24,000. Now, in, 2000, in Elkhart County in 2003, 14,000 people voted in that election. In 2007, that number dropped, and then again dropping in 2011. So some consistent numbers dropping in Elkhart County. In Marshall County, 2003, about 2,000 people voted. Again, uh, <laughs> excuse me, going up in 2007, up to 2,700, and then again dropping in 2011, so pretty similar to Elkhart County. Reporting live in the studio, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT.